We at Vyond have been tracking the outbreak of the coronavirus across the world. We've brought you ground reports from Wuhan, but now the focus is on one question: Is the coronavirus a biological weapon? The question has been doing the rounds for a while now. It's been on our radars as well. The claim is that the coronavirus is a weapon made by China and that the virus leaked out of a laboratory. So, is it true? Was the coronavirus made in a laboratory? Did someone release it just to cause harm? Now let's begin with a claim. Its origins, British newspaper, the Daily Mail, was among the first to report this story. There's a lab in Wuhan, according to reports, which is close to the animal market. The newspaper suggested the virus could have leaked from there. The same report claims that the SARS virus also leaked from a lab in Beijing. Now another report suggests that this one from the Washington Times takes this theory a step further. It goes on to claim that the coronavirus could have originated in a lab. This story quotes an Israeli biological warfare analyst. More such reports followed, and they only fueled speculation. One such report says that the virus can be traced back to Canada, and that two Chinese agents smuggled the coronavirus from Canada to China. At the center of all these claims is the Wuhan National Biosafety Laboratory. It's a level four lab. It was built to study diseases like Ebola and SARS. It conducts research on deadly viruses, and it's barely 32 kilometers from the Hunan Seafood Market, which has been confirmed as the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan. All reports suggest that the virus actually leaks from this facility, this lab. At this point, all such reports are in the realm of conjecture. There is no credible evidence to back them. Several experts have dismissed these claims as misinformation and conspiracy theories. Let's also take these theories one by one. First, did the virus originate from a laboratory? As we said, there is no scientific evidence to prove this. Two agencies, Center for Disease Control and Prevention, and the World Health Organization, are investigating this outbreak. None of them have called the coronavirus a biological attack. They have traced the origin of this virus back to a seafood and animal market in Wuhan, not to a laboratory. Number two, did the virus originate in Canada? More specifically, from Canada's National Microbiology Laboratory, or NML. Now, reports say that in March 2019, a mysterious shipment of exceptionally deadly viruses from the Canadian lab ended up in China. Scientists from Canada said the viruses were potential bio weapons. Four months later, a group of Chinese virologists, later called Chinese agents, were expelled from this lab. Did they smuggle the virus? Again, experts have dismissed the claim. The reports name a Chinese woman called Shang Wo. She she was working in the Canadian lab. The government of Canada has been reported as dismissing this report. Now, yes, the Chinese researcher was removed from the Canadian lab, but she was not charged with anything. Some reports say there were issues with her paperwork, even protocol. So there's nothing concrete yet to link the virus to the lab, but questions hang. And for a change, the questions bothered the Chinese government enough for them to issue a clarification. China uncharacteristically issued a denial a day ago. Guess who else jumped in? The Russian media. They have their own theory. They have accused the United States of triggering this outbreak in Wuhan. They too call the coronavirus a biological weapon, only that it was created by America to target China.